Hey guys, Paul Dexter here. Well, today I want to just give you a preview of what's launching soon. We are launching November 1st time tracking for the install platform. Uh, so many of you have, have said, I love the project management, I love what it does, but uh, we need time tracking. We want to be able to not just track time for payroll, uh, which this will do, but also uh, so we can track against our estimate in the project. And so we've built something that does both of that. It's on my phone, I'll show you kind of how it works. So the user opens up the app, they see their uh, projects they're assigned to and what they need to be doing. They click the clock, they can now select a job to work on or actually some non-job time like shop time or company meetings. I'm gonna click into this one job and clock in and we, you can now select your labor. Each uh, tech, it will only give them the options of the labor that they work on. I'm doing some finished installation and I'm working on my tasks today, I clock in. So now the clock's running, and uh, both uh, here as well as the upper clock where they can always see it, and the tech can now take a break. Uh, they can change, which means move to a different category and so forth, or they can clock out. But now I can get back to my projects, click into the uh, project I got tasks for today. So fast forward, we've been working now for a minute on this project. At any point, they can click that clock, and they could take their break. Uh, they're on break for so long. We can end our break. Now we need to change our session type. We're moving from doing some installation. We're going to go back and pick up some pre-wire. This is all to help you track your labor and you can get as granular as you like to be. You may also need to update uh, pulling that extra cable. So now the day's gone along, they, uh, they can clock out and they can refine their description one more time if they need to. Um, so now you're clocked out. I've only worked two minutes today. Seems like it's time for a beer already. So those numbers then uh, report, obviously, uh, through our API and to other applications. We have various reporting areas within JetBelt that we're developing now that you'll be able to use those numbers. Again, both uh, for actual payroll, but also uh, for uh, p and So you can track in real time, say the project is one third of the way along. We can give you projections as to if your labor is higher or lower than estimated. So you can start to now really analyze uh, where the money's going and where the labor's going. So look for this November 1st. We're very excited to bring it to you. Uh, in other news, we've been spending uh, the last several weeks working on small refinements in JetBelt, those little tickets that you guys turn in that say, boy, you know, we really wish this number could be reflected over here or this button could also trigger this. And so we go through that list constantly and we've been uh, uh, adding a lot of those little things and as well resolving some issues that you guys have had in various areas of the application. So we've been investing a lot there these last uh, month or so. So I guess that's about it for today. Mostly I wanted to give you that preview of time tracking. I'll continue to do that as we ramp into uh, our launch November 1st. Uh, but don't hesitate to reach out to uh, your support folks and let them know that you're excited about time tracking. You want to start using that when it comes along. They can give you some information as it progresses. And uh, so you'll be ready to go when the time comes. All right, until next time, stay safe out there. This is Paul Dexter signing off.